All of us. 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 It takes a little change to be able to come together and to, you know, print and to just just do this. And um, I want to bring up uh, Stephen and ask him to um, say what he wants to say. But I really appreciate your support, Stephen. Come on. Up. Running for um, Congress. California's 33rd Congressional District. 33rd Congressional District. And uh, the way I originally um, got involved in politics is I was so horrified by, these, uh, by this war on drugs and by our incarceration rates in this country. A lot of people don't know we incarcerate at five times the rate of most every industrialized country in the world. And anybody who thinks we're safer for doing that is wrong. Uh, we need to not only um, end this uh, war on drugs and change our policies to focus on harm reduction instead of criminalization, but we need to change these three strikes laws. We need to uh, get away from these mandatory minimums and allow these judges to have some discretion when they understand the situation. And. Uh, Susan Burton is a real hero in this movement. Yes, well, I, Mr. Worker. I attended. I attended several. I attended several events last week with Michelle Alexander, uh, who wrote the amazing book *A New Jim Crow*. Mm -hmm. And uh, every time she got up, she was praising Susan. And Susan is an amazing soul. Well, and uh, a lot of people don't realize that um, about 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, our prisons were about 3% of the general fund in California. Now it's grown to 11.5% of the general fund. It exceeds higher education in the money we spend. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's discriminatory. It's unjust. And, All right. And, um, and we ain't going to stand for it. And we ain't going to stand for it. <laughs> Right now in the California legislature, there is pending a bill, SB 1506, that will reduce the penalties, reduce the charges for drug offenses, drug possession offenses, from felonies to misdemeanors. Ending the felony label. Everybody here should be calling their representatives, sending letters, flooding the place, saying, we don't want people branded felons for the rest of their life because they were once caught with drugs. End the madness. Invest the money saved in drug treatment, drug prevention, education, job creation. We've got to end the war on drugs. And then we've got to end all these forms of discrimination against re people released from prison, discrimination that denies them basic human rights to work, to shelter, to food. Right now in the California legislature, people are working to end the ban on food assistance to people with drug offenses. We need to support that effort in a big, bold way.